Good morning. It's great to have your company this Monday, the 26th of July. I'm Jessica Amir, Senior Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the major indices on Wall Street surged to brand new record highs at the weekend because investors are continuing to shake off those fears that interest rates will rise and that the Delta COVID-19 variant is spreading. Instead, what's driving markets is simply one, Half of the U.S. adult population is now fully vaccinated. And two, we know that quarterly earnings results so far are beating expectations. And this is supporting share price growth. Just look at what happened on Friday. The S&P 500 rose 1%, hitting a historical high, along with the two other major indices. Over the week, the S&P 500 rose 2%. The Nasdaq was up 3%. Both indices are up 15% each this year. As for standout stocks on Friday, remember how we spoke about Twitter and Snap reporting much stronger than expected quarterly numbers because online advertising spending is bouncing back with vengeance? Well, guess what? Investors reacted to that news and heavily bought Snap shares, sending its stock up 24%. And investors also backed Twitter, sending Twitter's stock up 3%. But now the focus for this week shifts to Facebook, Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft and Amazon, who are reporting results this week. As for the local share market, what to watch today? Well, firstly, the Aussie market is suggested to lift 0.3 of a percent, which will take our market to a brand new record all-time high, resetting those records that the market hit on Thursday and Friday last week. Secondly, what else to watch? Well, there's plenty of economic news out this week. Inflation data out on Wednesday expected to show inflation or consumer prices rose a massive 3.8% over the year in the last quarter. And the third element to watch today, commodities. Commodity price moves will likely help the market strongly rally. We know oil stocks will see more love Um, The oil price slightly lifted to $72 US, continuing to bounce back from Monday's fall. The copper price is up 2.7%, while the iron ore price rose 1%. Now, we know both gains in copper and iron ore helped lift BHP, which is listed in New York. Uh, BHP in New York rose 1.1%. So you'd expect the Aussie-listed commodity stocks uh, to do well today. And before we get to trading ideas, don't forget we saw last week buying into healthcare and staple stocks like Woolworths, which hit a record all-time high. Now, buying into health and staples collectively offset the pullback in resources last week. But what I want you to think about is given that the oil and iron ore prices are bouncing back with vengeance, could we see mining and energy stocks pack a lot of punch this week? And could this also help the Aussie share market hit brand new record all-time highs this week? But the caveat will be is if inflation data out on Wednesday... Uh, is weaker than expected. Plus, don't forget, we've got those big tech earnings results out this week in the US as well. And lastly, as for trading ideas that could be worth a look, well, firstly, health club business, Viva Leisure, VVA is the ticker. They were reiterated as a city buy, albeit with a slimmer $2.50 target. Nevertheless, that still implies almost 40% share price growth in a year. Now, Viva has got about 345 gym facilities around Australia. So yes, it's heading into a tough year ahead, particularly um, a strong financial year 2022, but long-term opportunity remains intact. Separately, if you are into looking at charts and if you did look at VVA's chart, you'd expect their shares to rally and to rally off their low, in fact. Why? Well, VVA shares uh, some of their indicators, uh, for example, the shorter and the long-term moving averages just flagged that VVA could rally higher. Plus, another technical indicator called the moving average convergence divergence, this is also suggesting VVA shares are likely to see further upside. Look, either way, VVA, it's a city buy.
Lastly, but definitely not least, bullish charting signals have been flagged in Brainship BRN, Damstra DTC, and Fire Fitch FFX. And that's according to Trading Central. Stay safe. Happy trading. Bye for now.